Hey folks, I'm going to tell you about something you may not know. If you're an Ugly Stick fan, I didn't really kind of get it myself either until I started doing a little more looking around and I might teach you something that you don't know. But this video is all about the Ugly Stick Striper Rod. Targeted species, wrong size. Whoa. Again, targeted species, wrong size. Number three. Three in a row. Targeted species. Wrong size. <laughs> oh. Is this number what? I'm losing count. Number four? Yes. Yes, it is. Right species? Wrong size. Where is that number five? Black drum. I've caught these like 90, what, 93 pounds, I think? Uh, 63, 65, 33, 48. <laughs> Obviously not now. That's the reason we're fishing. The striper. Super LT rod, light tackle. Well, right species, wrong size, all over again. <laughs> oh, I don't know how many that makes. What, about seven? I'm starting to lose count. If there's that many baby drum, man, next year we ought to have a hell of a season. See, we're in between the tides. The tide's just falling on the bottom. And I can get away fishing this really light rod, this real light rod, with just a two ounce lead. So, and as a matter of fact, Many times this is when the drum like to bite. Right when that tide's just starting to roll or it's kind of slack. And it all started with those little little puppy drums. I started looking at the videos on YouTube where they said um, down at the iCast show they're making the striper rod and the catfish rod which is nothing more, nothing super special. I mean, it is, but it isn't. They're making that called, they're calling that the, the species specific, you know, species series. Well, I put it on my blog, I put it on Facebook and everything that I'm gonna was doing this video. And then finally, here they are. Here we go. Ugly stick, ugly stick, striper rod. Okay, ugly stick, striper rod. Well, this rod, this blank, 
and this blank are almost identical, except they call this one just a medium. This one's a medium light. Oh my God. I mean, this is, this is when I had my striper rods, I had a whole bunch of striper rods. And I sort of got rid of them on the, for the sheer fact that what they did is they put on like chrome guides or something on the striper rod. And they were hard to maintain, which believe it or not, these black guides right here, that black guide will last you forever. Okay, if you don't beat the crap out of it. Um, but these cro chrome guides were terrible. Um, I did everything from spraying them with polyurethane when I got them brand new to try to make them last a little longer and put a coating on them. So it was bad. Um, it was bad news. And now here they are. The new and improved striper rod. They did the same thing with the catfish. It's got different colors. Okay, it's got kind of a different striper logo here and here's what they did they actually listened to customers shakespeare listened it took them a long while but they listened and i'm so absolutely ecstatic because i even talked to a guy from shakespeare and i said the exact same thing why don't you take the damn hook holder and put it on the bottom of the rod? Bottom of the rod. Okay. Because the hook holder used to be on the side and the line grabs it constantly. Okay. Hook holder, side of rod. Line grabs it constantly. It's the same thing on my ugly stick lights. Why the hell would you have a hook holder on the side of the rod? Every ugly stick light I have, the line gets caught on this stupid little wire. But a hook holder is nice, right? If you know what a hook holder is and you use it, 99% of my customers don't. They just want to jam a jam a, a hook right up into the right up into the guides they think guides are hook holders that's my pet peeve that's my pet peeve is taking care of your tackle okay but there you go there's a hook holder on the old fashioned ugly stick right on the side here's a hook holder on the bottom thank you Shakespeare, thank you. Okay. The next thing they did is on the catfish and the striper. Gimbal. They put a gimbal on the bottom. <laughs> As I know the diehard striper guys, they're trolling 99% of the time, right? They're trolling. And it's nice to lock the rod into the rod holder. And it's a rubber, rubber. And I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful. Now, one of the other things they did here is they got kind of schmancy and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not, but they molded ugly stick right into the foam. It's okay, not a, ne not a necessity, but they put it in there. It's kind of okay, it's kind of cool. Okay, I can, you can see this rod's all dirtied up already. But that isn't the last thing. You know that GX2, the only, me personally, the only good thing about it, <laughs> I don't, the only good thing about it is the eyes were great. Well, now they got those ugly tough guides on the striper and the catfish rods. They listened. These people, there's people out there like myself, huge fan of this rod, huge fan of this blank, okay? And they put on these 
stainless steel one-piece guides. All of them. You can't hurt those. So for the people who beat the crap out of their tackle and throw it in the corner of the garage after they went fishing in their canoe, okay, yeah, and I'll tell you something, it's a little bit different here. Definitely different than the old black rod. This is a certain kind of foam. And then this is a different kind of foam. This is like a harder foam or it's got a different feel to it. Okay. Than the foam down here. All right. Now I've got on these, I've got Daiwa Ryoga 20, 2020 high speeds. Okay. I got a let's say thirty something dollar rod with a high tech MSRP four hundred fifty dollar reel. Okay. But what I love about these rods, it's the same thing I loved about this. Oh my god. Is this rod an absolute blast to catch a fish on? Absolute blast to catch a fish on. Okay, I don't care, you know, about this. All oh, these rods got to be stiff as a board and fast action and all this stuff. This is what I love. Oh, I love catching a fish on that. Oh my God. <sighs> you know. Sensitivity? Yeah. I mean, you, you, a bow up on that and a big old fish just, just digs on down. Whew. I'm telling you, even, you know, I love the ugly stick lights. They're a more of a graphite type, got more graphite in them, and they're a much stiffer rod, okay? And I really like them. And they're really, like I said in the video before, they're they were very popular in this area. You can see, you know, see, see them on boats all over the place. But now, I've got two of these, and I'm loving every minute of it. The Ugly Stick New and Improved Striper Rod. We got the Ugly Tough Guides. You still have your clear solid tip. Still have it. Okay. You still have the same kind of construction. But what they're doing too is, they're, I guess you can still feel it, the ridges in the rod. It's more apparent on the black rods. It's more apparent. You got the old ugly stick ridges. Okay, that's a damn trademark of an ugly stick. Okay, that's, you get in, I'm not gonna get into it, but I mean, that's, that's part of the building process. Okay, having those ridges on there. But here's my two. I'm one, one happy camper now. I actually love throwing jigs, quarter ounce, there's a, or a, that's a half ounce, just lead head. There's one of my slab spoons. The funny thing is I love throwing this stuff, throwing these shrimp on this one and just nothing on this one or a piece of fish bites or something. And it's funny when you set the hook on you know a 16 inch croaker on these rods they double over when you hook into a 30 inch redfish they really double over okay and i'm going to actually take this rod and i'm going to lock it into the rod holder in my boat and i'm going to show you what the bend looks like if you're pulling hooks on fish um, you may want to go to a softer rod, okay? These have what I refer to as the whole parabolic bend. 
the true ugly stick. You know, like the the ugly stick uh, logo is that rod bending completely around. It's great. So the moral of the whole this this whole entire video is is these are gone. These old black rods with the orange and yellow striping on them here, they're gone. They still sort of make, I think, some in the, in the um, that are, you know, the coloration and everything in the uh, Big Water series of rods. Um, they might make these in like the, what do they call them, like the kids, you know, little shorties, little short rods and the, and the, and the pink ones for girls or whatever, you know, kind of like kind of the kid stuff but um this rod right here is gone the seven foot medium action it's gone um it's being replaced by the gx2 but if you're looking for that same seven foot light blank okay that that thing's made out of you got it it's right here it's it's back it's the striper, and it's better than ever. Better than ever. Hook holder, guides, gimbal. Just a wonderful feel, okay? So um, let me show you what the bend sort of looks like here, okay? Okay, there's a pull holder. There's the gimbal, right? There's a pin in the bottom of this rod holder. And this goes on in, and it locks. See that? You can't twist it. It locks in. Lock her in. All right. So here's the rod. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. See that, folks? That's what I'm talking about. Your super high modulus graphite, brittle as hell, break in a heartbeat rod. When a big fish strikes it, all it does is have the rod tip kind of bows over. Look at this. Look at that. Now I'm pulling some drag out here now. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That equals fun, folks. Fun on a big fish, a small fish, any fish. All right. I hope you all can see that. There you go. So... I can honestly tell you the next time you're going to see this, next time you're going to see these, is in action. In action. Okay, folks, right size on the striper rod, baby. On the striper rod. Oh, yeah. much fun. Look at that baby Ben. Yep. 
fur. It's called dinner, folks. Dinner. Yep, on the striper rod. That's a nice keeper right there. All right, no other way of breaking in a rod than breaking it in right with a fish, a decent sized fish. See how that thing bent? I love every minute of it. 